What's good guys, it's your boy surf.pdf and today we're going through my 2020 through 2022 notebook. These are the stickers I've been like sticker trading with people and because my notebook was falling apart, I kind of had to use it to bind all the pages together. So uh, this is just more sticker trades I've done with people. All right, so my first page. A while back I did a dude eating a banana and this is like a more fleshed out version of him. This was like a Bogoblin from Legend of Zelda. And I was doing some like Cactus Man doodles. I think it was for 3D art design where we're like doing, making sculptures with wires. So the first couple sketches are based off that. That's like a guitar capo. I was like trying to get its 3D form. And then that's like a guitar capo dinosaur. And this is just a sticker of a painting. And this one is Robots in Love. I don't know what inspired me to draw it. I think I was just drawing like TV people. And then I saw a cute pose and then it just kind of evolved from there. And this is more 2D design um, class doodles. I was like getting into like this little bunny character. And then it's like a, it's like this box dude and he's kind of, thinking out of the box ideas and then this is just like uh facial practice i was kind of just like trying to get different perspectives let's see yeah i was like trying to do like an, him tilting his head up little glasses a bunch of funny faces and i think that says ranch let's see this was more like word practice and then i was also um still developing like this bunny character I think these were like me trying to draw palm trees. And then here's another one of just me practicing my straight letters. And I think these are just a bunch of self-portraits-ish of the same idea. And then just practicing my straight letters because, you know, you, you never know when you need to throw down some words in a painting. All right. So for the next couple pages, I was doing a series of like all the different like shows that I've been to. I wanted to like illustrate like the mosh pits and kind of the environment. So this was like a Monstro's Pizza and Chico's, like this pizza shop that played hardcore shows. And I went to a lot of those when I first moved to Chico. So I just wanted to encapsulate that. This was a spirit that was in Oroville. It was like this abandoned diner that my friend bought out and then he like turned it into a venue for a little bit. That is Gilman Street. Let's see. This was my friend's like little tour van that he had like a bunch of stickers on. So that's just him chilling out on the back. And then this was just an art house that they like used to throw a lot of shows. And it was always a pretty good time over there. Let's see. This used to be a sandwich shop and they'll like have bands play in the corner. And then this was just a house venue that used to play shows in the basement. I don't think this was a venue at all. It was just a porch where we would have band practice. And then let's see, that was Gilman. I think Green Day used to play a lot over there. I asked my friends to send me some of their tour photos. So this was what they had. Uh, this one was in Seattle called the Fun House. And then this one was um, called the Kitty Castle in San Jose. Let's see. This was the 1078 Art Gallery. And then this was um, a basement show. Let's see. And then these two were the same one in the Kitty Castle in San Jose. Um, the band was called Morning Coffee, and they're a really good group if you like hardcore. Highly suggest checking them out on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. This was at the Spirit, which was like the abandoned diner. And then this was just the apartments we used to hang out at a lot. This is Houston and the Dirty Racks at Ike's. Um, they came from like the East Coast and played a show. And they're a bunch of cool cats. Sunny Acres, this was just like a backyard show. And then we got more, more Ike sandwich doodles. Random band playing. This is from Steak Sauce Mustache. It's like these dudes will go out with pool noodles and diapers and shoot toilet paper streamers at you. Pretty good. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, this was like another one of Steak Sauce Mustache's show. Pretty much there's like the little toilet paper streamer and then they'll just like crowd surf. 
and then this one i was at a bar i was just kind of trying to like sketch it out out of nowhere i just decided to make it more into like an alien bar i think it was duffy's that was the bar name these are just more facial doodles more group of dudes bunch of dudes and then this is like a I think a gas canister pouring down on a city bunch of demons on the bottom or something that looks like a bird man more uh, what do you call it word practice and then this was the gas canister idea again and let's see this is more shows i believe this was at the magic manson in davis and then this was at ike sandwich again same uh, steak sauce mustache people so after that i kind of like finished my show series and now these are just more doodles i wanted to do like um cyberpunk so this was like a two page spread of like creatures in like a cyberpunk style and i really like how these turned out this is like a samurai robot kind of inspired by samurai jack this was like heavily inspired by a different artist that i pretty much try to copy and then for me trying to copy it kind of turned into something completely different but if i showed you the actual image you can see where i got the inspiration from see this is harley quinn this is like a melting police car with a little skull smoke this is a dude barfing into like a little ocean and then that ocean turns into arrows and i was just playing with more like creature designs this is arrow chicken man and this is more like hot live miami duck dude with arrow arms i believe this was like another hotline miami drawing and then my friend wanted a tattoo of a sloth on a rhino so this was just something i whipped up pretty quickly this was originated as like hands and they're holding out like a plant that was growing but i really fucked up on the hands and then i kind of just had to turn it into this so this was just me trying to cover up the bad hands you can see with the little pencil sketches and this is a uh, a tech deck finger riding a skateboard i think this was more like face practice at this point i was getting pretty good at like um perspectives without actually drawing the grid so i was just kind of doodling with this and i think this is where i started my like a loopy cloud phases and i mainly use that as like a as a composition this was like a box samurai and this was like a picture of a painting that i put on a thermal this was another picture of a painting I did. And this was from it's another group. I think they go by Imaginary Friends and they have Imaginary Other and then Chewy. And this was when I was doing the animation for them. So I was like doing a bunch of storyboards of like what I wanted to do. So these were just me like bouncing ideas, I think. Let's see, he's looking into a mirror and see a bunch of trippy monsters. Smoking a fat blunt with a bunch of trippy monsters. Just that kind of stuff. I was thinking of like monster designs. He's like in a pimp, pimp fur jacket. And then that's just his smoke turning into more monsters and trees or shapes pretty much. This is more storyboarding. Um, I think I saw this like at like a adventure time animation where it was like jake the dog and he had like a giant tongue so this was kind of ripped from that um i was playing with lower perspective on this and then yeah i was like practicing how to draw a paper bag face man so this was drawn with sharpie and then i didn't realize i was drawing with sharpie halfway through so pretty much he bled through on this side so i had to i used a micron pen and kind of just did a mirror side of it. So it's like the same dude, but one is more intricate. I use micron pens because Sharpie bled through the paper. So this most of these drawings were just through like thin micron pens and it has a cool style, but I feel like you don't need to use micron pens to draw good drawings. This was lemon grabs, but more anime looking. That's like a squid mushrooms. And I think this is like a, a takeout noodle box with a bunch of weird things coming out of it. Um, these are like face study practices. I think that's Ashi from Samurai Jack. And then at this point, I was like trying to draw skeletons, but clearly I haven't really looked at a reference, but I found a way to simplify it for it to be passing. And you're gonna see a lot of these like weird circle rib cages. And let's see, both of these were from, I saw different artists draw it and I was bored and these are like practices. So these weren't my ideas, but 
This was just me like copying it, like eyeballing it. And then these had like a brush mic arm pen. So I was like practicing with the strokes. This is like a monster clown. And then this is like a mushroom dude with a baby face. I think that's like a bull. Um, a lot of these drawings, I don't really had much of a plan. It's just like me turning off my brain. Um, this was just a fat, chubby, hairless cat that I wanted to draw. Um, I think that's like Kipo frog dude from the cartoon. And then I think this was like inspired by my little nightmare. I was like trying to see how they made their faces super uncanny. And let's see, this one was just, um, it started with that eye and then I kind of just went off of that. And then my friend wanted like a, like a curse baby doll face tattoo. So this was just a tattoo design I cooked up for him. And this was another piece that I kind of ripped off. I was like, they had like really messy style and I wanted to see how like, I was just trying to practice like scribbling a face. So this isn't my idea, but this was just like a study off of it. And then let's see, this is like a rubber ducky. I think it was another style that I was like trying to rip off of. Um, I think this is from Paranoia Agent. And then, yeah, you can see my little, my little rib cage. And then this is just another doodle. And then, yeah, so a lot of these drawings, it was just um, me practicing clouds and faces. And then I would draw the practice first and then put it in composition later. And they all have this like weird collage style, but like, I really like how these turned out. Um, this was just like, I was practicing oyster mushrooms and then it kind of devolved into this. Really cool idea though. And then this was just a jellyfish practice. Let's see, this is a combination of me trying to draw skulls and a bear. And then this is like a, a demon mask. I think this was drawn with ballpoint pen. It was like a lot lighter, but I was able to like get a more delicate look to it. And this one I use like a brush pen. And I was just practicing like my faces. If you notice, I don't really like to draw the irises because it kind of, I don't know, they just have more character with the blank eyes. So that's kind of just the style I rolled with for a fat minute. Um, this is like a cat with a oni mask. And this is just like a character design of like a bull or something, samurai bull. Let's see. This is a cactus with a face. I think that was like a random drawing commission. And then this was like a cyberpunk cactus dude with the cactus hair on that cactus vibe. Let's see, this is like a rubber ducky airship. He's in the clouds and then a little goober on top who's thinking about cool stuff. And then this one, my friend wanted me to help him concept some ideas for his like comic idea. So these ones, I've just been like trying to draw stuff for his like dystopian, futuristic cyberpunk arena. And then this was just a portrait practice. Me trying to learn how to draw a skeleton rib cage without drawing a skeleton rib cage. Another portrait practice. A long time ago, someone wanted me to help them with their NFT collections when NFTs weren't a scam. So this was like me doing my own little version of an NFT that never got released. This is the same arena cyberpunk concept art. And then this was a doodle for Just Sale. I use some of his music and it's pretty good. You should check it out. His name's Just Sale. Um, this is more concept work for the cyberpunk arena. Um, just a lot of different iterations and whatnot. This one was for Rabbit Paradise. Um, we did a bunch of shirt designs. So I think for the next 10, we're doing like this version of a Grim Reaper. And these are just like the actual drawings before like we put it into t-shirts. Let's see. And then I'm pretty sure some of these I like got inspired. I know this one was inspired by a different artwork and that one was inspired by a different artwork and that one. Let's see. And then this was like squid games or this was my squid game phase where I draw like little triangles and squares because I liked how, how it looked graphically. So this was me at an airport and I was just drawing a bunch of airport terminals and just different stuff, practicing how to draw airport furniture pretty much. And this was just a board doodle at the airport. These were a bunch of toys that my roommates had. I drew all their different toys and just kind of put it in a single composition. But yeah, that's like an egg baby. That's like a cat. Some random dude. It's pretty ugly looking. Um, this is just a samurai snake and squid game. 
a dude riding a fish with legs. I think I saw like some like puppet festival and that's kind of what it was like based off of. This is like a robot scorpion. Demented chicken. It was like the Adventure Time Bee. And then this was just like another artist that I like, I pretty much ripped off of with the soda can job. It, soda can anime eye dude. This is a rat having brain surgery within himself, I think. I think these eyeball dudes are like attached to him. And this is a dragon with a snake on top of a bird head. And then this is a GMO world, the comic I've been working on. These are just like different concept art for it. And then I think this was a draw on your own style challenge. And then this too was another draw on your own style challenge. And that's my friend. Both of these are my friends. I was just like doing little portrait practices and whatnot. Um, that's from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. And this was me practicing skeleton robot rib cages or whatever. This was my girlfriend's dog. He was like a short motherfucker, so I put him on stilts and turned out pretty cool. Um, this one was Skeleton Pikachu. And let's see, this is like a robot dude punching the ground and like a bunch of smoke around it. A lot of impact. I kind of liked how that angle turned out. This is like a bird with a skeleton with another alien. I was doing a tarot card series and I think this was either Wrath, yeah, I think this was Wrath, or Judgment. No, I think it's Judgment, because it's like this little dude screaming while he's being judged by this like giant entity. And then I think I was heavily inspired by Pitch Cranker for this one. Dude's an amazing artist. This is a Grim Reaper sketch, pretty much. This one is like a, a robot mole creature. And then this is like a Siamese twin Gundam robot. This one is like a like a beetle man with a bunch of mushrooms growing on top. And then this was me trying to practice drawing hands. And then I think that's like a squid tentacle. And I think that was like based off like bow goblins from Legend of Zelda. This is a samurai gecko. I remember this was just like a just a random alien doodles with big old tatas. This is just like my alien dude that I was trying to make him look more menacing and like deconstruct him pretty much. Um, this was I think a dude caught in his own his own prison of anxiety or something, boxed in. I think that was some of the idea. There's like a giant brain and then I think that's like a camera or something with a bunch of eyes looking at him. And this is just a bunch of birds with different beaks. Kind of inspired by like the Baba Yaga birdhouse um, house with chicken legs. Um, let's see, this is like a kind of inspired by like love, death, and robots with like the robot cats and whatnot. And then this is like a samurai behind like a wood grain background. This is just a massive duel. Got some faces. We got SpongeBob on the top right going through a tunnel. And we got more faces, bunch of boxes, and it's all in like a cardboard box at the end. Um, this is War Turtle. This is like a two point perspective. It was like some sort of like junkyard, toxic place. And then there's like a little dude looking into the sun. And it's like a island pretty much, a flesh island. And then this is a trippy sled. We got some snakes, bunch of eyes, and then they're flying in the clouds. And then this is like some sort of monster with eyeball balloons, big old nipples. And then let's see, some mushrooms. And this is like a turtle guy coming out of like a mouth on top of an eye. And then this is like a flamingo tattoo design. I think the commission was like King Frog. So this was the first like initial doodle. I was just like trying to find out how to do a frog. He's like a toad with a bunch of eyes growing out of him on top of his skull. And then this is like King Toad on his little cloud throne. This is like a sea world. You can see the little tentacles with like a little robot crab on top of a hammerhead, I guess roughly inspired coming out of like toxic goo. And then these are just little sticker designs. No face, football man, some, uh, this is just a bunch of goofy self portraits of me and my friends. 
And then this is just another painting that I turn into a sticker. This is a two point perspective. It's a, it's like a dude looking out into the mountains and the mountains like a robot person buried. That was like the rough idea. Kind of inspired by like Hyperlight Drifter. I believe this is like Space Dandy, but I made them all edgy. And robot chicken self portrait. A face with a bunch of faces. And then the little ribbon turning into a dude with more faces coming out, escalating into arrows and combining with the afro. This is like a little two page spread of like a, like a snake dragon in the sky who keeps on like getting cut in half. Starts through there and he kind of just descends into madness to the right. This is like a start of a dragon doodle. Kind of the same concept. I think I drew this one first and then the previous one. And then this one was just me with a loose pen, just kind of squib scribbling around. Uh, this one was like a, it's like almost like a fly dragon. I, I wanted to do like a super narrow, narrow snout. And then I kept on like cutting it in half. And then you got like an eye pipe with some like smoke coming out of it. And then you got a little organs. And then this is like a little, little island with a dude barking on top. And he's kind of just, kind of just extending to the heavens. This is more like cloud drawings with some like mushrooms and like distorted faces. Kind of just playing around with shapes. And then this is like an island that kind of just like distorts itself. This is like a jukebox playing on his jukebox, and the other jukebox is like his dead friend's head. They beep, boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, bop. And then this is like a two dudes riding like this little speeder. I think this was like trippy skull practice. So it's like starting from the bottom, and it just keeps on extending up, getting more like creative as I get to the top. And then this was like another island with words. Here's my little alien dude. And I was just like getting used to line weight at this point. This is like a little puppet dude riding his hot air balloon car in the clouds. And that's like a little little pig balloon. And then that looks like a, his little friend. And then I think this might be the last drawing. But yeah, I was like trying to more of like an isometric view. And then like I was like drawing some skulls and then just kept on going from there. And he kind of just evolved to this conglomeration of shapes, but it looks pretty cool. I kind of like the isometric view and like the perspective of like the words looking down, but yeah. So this whole book took me around two years to finish. It's kind of crazy, but it's, uh, I'm glad I finished it. And all I can say is just like, keep on drawing, put your ideas on paper and they'll get refined eventually. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. I know this was like a longer one, but um, I'm really stoked to show you guys at least this sketchbook because this has been my most advanced one so far. But anyways, have a good one guys. Take care.